In this video, I want to show you how we can use a program called Insight, which is on, a, on the school uh, student resource. And you can also, if you have um, your own device, you can also download it onto your computer. So if you want to download it onto your computer, you this is a Mozilla uh, browser that I'm using. If you just type in Insight, and here is the website and then if you go to download uh, you, if you open this window it will tell you how to download and you can listen to instructions so if you go to home it will also tell you if you go to download it will tell you view the movie movie so if you click on this it will tell you how to download it onto your desktop but for you what I've done is uh, this, if you go to computer and if you go to student resource, go to maths, go to maths folder, and then there's a website, uh, sorry, a folder called Insight. If you click on that, uh, first I'll open this. So this is the folder of Insight. So if you click on that, and if you go click on start, double click it'll open. It'll take a while to open up. Okay, so this is by University of Auckland Department of Statistics. It'll take a while to open up. Okay. Okay, so it's opening up. And, and if you click on Run Insight, it's loading okay now this is the window now if you go on data in and click on that you can import data click on import data and then you can browse if you click on browse okay so let me go to uh, student resource and then go to maths okay where is maths here is maths and you go to insight and then you go to data so I have made a sample of boys and girls height okay I, I hope you know how to do sampling double click and then you click on OK so this is a sample of 30 each of boys and girls okay so this is not available so can you see it's gone up to six, uh, 60 so there are 30 boys and 30 girls okay so this is gender and this is height so what you have to do is you just drop gender in the drop box like this so it will draw the histogram okay so there are equal number of boys and girls and now if you click the height in the second drop box it has drawn the box and whisker graph okay so this is it will also give you the stats so if you click on this it will give you the stats so you got sample size of 29 female and 30 male almost same okay so this is the minimum lower quartile median don't worry about mean okay you've got standard deviation third quartile and maximum okay now I want to add I want to add the informal conference interval okay so if you click on reference if you uh, if you click on inference information we want the formal conference interval of median so this is can you see the method to use is year 12 method and there the, it will automatically add the informal conference interval so here we go so it has added the informal conference interval okay so here you can see you can you know how to calculate the informal conference interval okay so this is the stats so let me close this okay now if we want to print this out you can rename it instead of saying plot you can rename it so we are saying uh, gender uh, versus gender versus 
height okay so this is the this is the box and whisker so you've got the dot plot and box and whisker and also the informal confidence interval now you can take a screenshot of this or you can also save it okay so let me take a screenshot I would like uh, go open a word document okay keep that open so let me close this go to insert take a screen screenshot uh, screen clipping and I want to take the so this is the graph I want okay I think this is enough so here we got the dot plot and the box box and whisker and the informal confidence interval okay so and then if you want the stats if you want the stats you can click on you can click on get summary and this is the summary so again you can insert screenshot okay and then you can take the summary take a screenshot of that so here is a summary okay okay what did I do okay so this is a summary and let me draw the so so let us minimize this and insert screenshot screen clipping oops so I should have kept this open uh, screenshot screen clipping and then okay so this is the informal conference interval the dot plot the box plot and the informal conference interval okay so it takes less than five minutes to calculate to have the uh, statistics draw dot plot box and whisker and the informal conference interval so when you're talking about informal conference interval what are we saying is this is a sample the male has a sample size of say 30 so with the informal conference interval is telling us that you can say with reasonable confidence that the population median of males males median height would be between this number and this number okay i I can read it around 135 okay this is 132 to about 138 and here we can say that we can say state with informal confidence or reasonable confidence not informal confidence that is very likely that the population median of females would be between this number and this number and I hope you know how to calculate informal confidence interval using this formula let me write that formula so the informal confidence interval ICI is written like this it is a median whatever is the median plus or minus 1.5 times interquartile range divided by the square root of n where n is the sample size so what we are saying is we can state with informal confidence that the population median height of boys is between whatever this number is the lower in the lower value of the interval to the upper value of the interval and here we can say that the informal that we can state with reasonable confidence that the population median height of female is between whatever this number is to this number and we can clearly see there is overlap in the informal confidence interval and as there is overlap we can say the meaning of overlap means it is very likely that the median height of males and females can be the same and so we can't make a call back in the population uh, that the male height is greater than female height or female height is less than the male height it depends on your question so that's all we need to do in at level 2 status uh, to get achieved uh, if you can explain what is the meaning of informal conference interval and your inference is based on informal conference interval 
you can talk about the overlap what is the meaning of overlap that is sufficient to get you uh, achieved